Hello everybody, and welcome to the 40 and Slip Bedtime Stories. Tonight, a story from my childhood, The Curse of the Saco River. Every child growing up in southern Maine near the Saco River heard this tale in one form or another. The Saco River is 135 or so miles long and winds through several counties and numerous towns in New Hampshire and Maine before meeting the sea at Hills Beach just below the city of Saco, Maine. And the legend dates back one to three centuries depending on whom you ask. According to the legend, the wife and infant son of Squando, chief of the Saco tribe, were in a canoe near the mouth of the river when they came across three rowdy drunken English sailors. The sailors allegedly made a few bets, then took the baby from his mother and threw him into the river to see if American Indian babies were natural born swimmers as some claimed they were. The mother rescued her baby but he died a few days later. The grieving Squando, who was said to have great spiritual powers, put a curse on the Saco River saying that every year after three white people would drown in the river. Some historical accounts state that the death of Squando's son, which is said to have occurred in 1675, marked the end of peaceful relations between the settlers and the American Indians living in that region. Like many stories that have been passed down, the legend of the Saco River has multiple versions. One variation holds that the event took place near Lymington, Maine, and the victim was a chief's daughter. The maiden was supposedly kidnapped by three white settlers and carried off in a canoe. The girl fell out in the infamous Lymington Rips, and her father placed a curse on the river. No matter the version, the legend lives on to this day in tales told by the people who live there.